May I come in pan here look at thing I mean, MG. May I you sell that home? Pan King Street, Harin Street. Me a boy when Metropolitan back in the days, take my mother's stuff off out of out of um the box that she sell in the boxes so and put it in the truck. But they beside you know me as a youth though, walk beside the van, the open back pickup van, the police boy them sit down there, the Metropolitan boy them sit down at night. He say as soon as them I take off fight, me dip in and grab my box and run. And people say, run like a youth, run like a youth, and tell them about 12, 13. People say, run like a youth, and the man, man run me down, and oh, them can't catch me, because you know, young boy already. And people black them from the way, and me get away. Me do it for the people, and people give me $10 and $5 back then. Because you know, I look on that, I look like a youth. You see me, I say? So yeah, we know the feelings. But I say to you, brother, the government leave them alone from the street. Them just run wild. Block up the street, block up traffic, block up pedestrian, as slap your bath, main channel, you might be peeing something where because the sidewalk, they the walk and they can't use it and whatever. And that's what happened. Because he has to message in the bridge. The man in the just come and tell him, I'm going to take on the thing, so the man them come on and move on, they come on the news, they come with the microphone and they talk on it. People not care. People not give a damn. Brother, you really don't have to tone and not a hustler and not think about it. Rules are rules. All right, who want the, the, the man in the market, you know, the arcade, that pay for them fee. And about now, the chance to go to the arcade and the store them because the people on the street black them and I sell first. I just, we have to take into consideration every, there must be some rules and regulation and everything. Rules are in everything because if you leave it like that, it'll just run rapid and run wild. So I mean, understand when yeah, I try to say the man, if you kill them, when they, when they come and see them, if you kill them, I don't work them get. It's like the police them go there and kill a criminal or arrest criminal. They forget dead too because of them work them do. Or the bus driver decides to say, I'm going to carry the passenger. But because he decides to stop and drink a bag of juice. If he dead because I'm going to carry the lead. I don't understand the thing, you know. Yeah, blessed afternoon, peeps. You know, drink. You know, listen to vice now. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to give my two cents. So no matter what, we have to follow the rules, just like where the big man here has said. Because if the rules were being enforced, um, were, were, were being adhered to, you see me? Stalin wouldn't, none of that wouldn't have, have occurred, right? All right, now on the other hand, um, how the man then deal with the thing and destroy the style with the with the with the stuff that you know it's also but go back to, to my point and follow the rules you see at the end of the day we have to try not to endorse indiscipline you know, because that is one of the issues we have in jamaica right now you know, the find say if you go in uh, any garrison them have up them have up um them paint pictures of bad man them or whatever but you never see a picture pain of a youth where we pass 10 subjects, we pass 12 subjects, a youth when we get to college. You see what I mean? So, so it's like we have a culture of endorsing and discipline. And you see, we can't, we can't do that. Just follow the rules. And none of that would have occurred. Right now, as it is, because me, I'm driving my day and I have a job. Right? You see, from, you see, from, look like I pass Maxfield. Going down, uh, going to town, and they say the traffic start. I forgot in that town. You understand? They say, Pam Marcus Gavi drive, the traffic pass down up to Greenwich Farm. I forgot in that town. Right? You see, one of the reasons why there's so much traffic is because of the vendors. See so what I mean? I say, and as the gentleman said, you can't step on them stuff. Enough time when me go down town drive. Go down town or whatever. We can't go through and the people are of course are going the most way because then they're in the road. You see what I mean? Say? So follow the rules. At the end of the day, that's what we need to do. Follow the rules. Right? Follow the rules. That's the first thing. That comes first. And then none of that would have occurred, you know? Hello folks, it's been a while. Football done. So yes, we'll go back to crime at hand, don't it? Mayhem, disorder, all of them kind of something there. Now in reference to this video, both line of defense. Let's look on the vendors first. 
manner hustle, you yeah, try do self employment, do your own little thing, you have family to feed, you have you know, bills to pay and your whole livelihood need to be taken care of. So of course you start sell. Nothing is wrong with being an entrepreneur, self employed, sell your little things. However, however, when you're setting up your business, you have to make sure, say, it's not a liability to others. And you have to make sure, say, you're not a target of the metro and them foolishness. You know, say, you're not supposed to be out in the road and sell your wares. Find a decent spot and sell your wares. You know, so when you come on to Christmas time, make sure ever all and pull people. So set your body good so that you're not get caught up in the big sign of them foolishness. As a vendor, you are responsible to protect your business and to have sense. And a non metro I come all and pull people for a long time. You get the vendor business done at town or whichever wherever square you do. You've seen it, you've heard it. So whatever proper channel, just do the right thing. Do the right thing as a vendor. You know you know if you have vendor, so find one spot where you can vend. You know so you know if you block up the roadways, find a spot where you not impede traffic. So everybody can go about them there. And you can get people at your stall. And you can make your money. And do what you have to get done. You can not disobey. And not suffer the consequence. Even down a hell. You have to obey. Even down a hell. Of rule and law. And I don't know why we feel like some of you Jamaican have to be so freaking ill-mannered. And unruly. Like we gloat into we gloat into being indisciplined. You even have singers that call themselves unruly, like a sitting for be proud of. Me don't know why mother want to be proud for be unruly. We need to follow rules. We don't know why we don't have a problem with decency and fashion, but we go up a blood cleat embassy and we sit down for five years to get one visa. If a five years after still in the waiting room to get one visa, you go sit down. I am your phone now go come in there with you. So you know say you know fear sell out in the street. You know them ever all and pull people. Cover your body. Cover your body and do the right thing. So you don't get caught up in the mix. Talk about the metropolis them now. We understand so you don't give people warning, but I'm not so go about things. I'm not so go about things. You cannot mash up people selling so and fling down people things and a bag of things either. And yes, me know say so you have to angle them Jamaican they like some fucking bad breed pitney. You have to give them licks to them backside. Because they nah not listen. But I'm not going to deal with things professionally. I'm not going to create enemies for yourself. And how the, organi the head of the organization feel like say it's okay for the work of them go out there and mash up people, things like that. I'm not make people take up them things. And if they might give you a back shot, then maybe you know, then you know, can't mash you up. But you can't just have fling down people things that are mash up, so. How much you notice know, give people? And as far as me remember, don't a town ever full of, full of vendors in you know, Christmas time. People don't drive certain places on a town. People know they know if drive certain, they don't know what a long stretch of road they call for upper parade. If you go down there, the 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 poly, the, the, the Portmore bus park, Panda Road there. Everybody knows that during Christmas you na drive Panda Road there. You walk Panda Road there. Up Orange Street, yeah, you can drive up Orange Street, but no other road down there so can drive Pan. Unfortunately, so you no need to erect some things so that people can maybe um rent them or buy them or something like that. You do put up borders in the road if so be a case. You do need for something, but this is a nice solution for mash up people things. It not going to work so. It can't work so. You do just as aggish and wayward as the blood cleat vendor them. Big and ag Thomas on a metro man. It don't look good. 
I don't know what is the solution, you know, because them vendor here, them need to get them shit together. And them metro people need to get them shit together. But I don't have a solution, but it don't look good as an observer looking in. It not look good from both sides. I told them for blame. I told them for blame. Vendors for knows them cannot do certain things. And metro people know them cannot do certain things. Yeah, and that's, I feel I feel that video is a couple of days old, you know. I don't feel that video is today. Because um, what happened is, like, time like this, the government let go the road, get them. You understand? Times like this, like, no, I think you let go the road like three, four days before Christmas. Let it go, get them. But then do what they want to do. So, um, I don't, that video is today. Maybe that video, maybe last week or maybe month earlier in the week. But I, when I think I, I to the video. To me, that's one of the solutions. So that might be a possible solution. Just leg of the road. Only foot traffic. Only foot traffic allowed certain. I don't know. Maybe that's going to have to be a solution. Because I mean, that's not that fucking solution. Because everybody wants to sell. I don't know where they want to come from during Christmas time. Everybody in Granny has sell. More sellers than buyer. Because I live in getting higher. Yeah, maybe that's a solution. They're going to just leg of the road. Round, round them strip. They're round this. So, round, round this. So. People just walk, go with them have gone. If it's a delivery van, then that different. But they must just leg of the road, give them massa. Cause that I'm telling you, the last time I got downtown was last year. March. Yeah. No, or last year, August. I don't know, one of them, sometime last year. And I'm telling you, that strip will come from parade. Go down at the Portmore bus park. Nobody up here walk foot the pandas, so you can't drive through this. So, so just like on in a shut down the Blood Nichols Road for a visit or a performance or whatever it is, them just need to shut down, shut down certain roads when they come to Christmas. One week, two weeks leading up to Christmas, does no say no vehicle or traffic allowed panda strip here. The, the road here, yeah, you can't drive Panda Road here, and it need to be told to the Iglas. Vehicle traffic allowed upon this road, so there should be no vending. Vending Panda Road, they don't so kind of bad. need to walk around them, but the near which what Azan and uh, that's and so many of them moderated them place there, anyways. Whatever Panda Stripper Road, there. somebody can't tell me that Stripper Road there. I mean, I know the road, yeah. No vehicle traffic around this so. So maybe that's some kind of compromise for for both pedestrian and people with vehicle. Because the people that men know, the people that must still come out come sell and they make sure they might come mash up. So at least if they make sure them seed pan the strip there, then me feel like them for mash it up. Cause obviously on the outer bounds. But don't have that road there, don't have a part there where nobody not there, them not for mash up, please. They think, me not them Jamaican yeah, them too unrolly. Them too unrolly and haggish, some of them. Yeah, man, that's me. I tell us that they do that. For a back to school, back to school and Christmas. Them two times of the year that them do it. Back to school and Christmas. Them, them lock down, the, the no car can drive. Haring Street, them street there. Them little streets there, no, no car can drive. If you have you have go King Street, or you go near where the train station they are and park the sign, then from there are walking yeah man uh, so them do it man for, them do it for back to school and they do it for christmas so them them always um, leg of the street get them so uh, that's why i said this video is not not um a late video this video a long time video ask me a bigger request anybody go down any if you go down a town or if you go down a port maria or you go down a, any town want to go down a place we're bustling you can please drop a video in here <sighs> Oh, I'm feeling homesick. A long time I don't witness Christmas in Jamaica and the hustle and the bustle. You know, you take these things for granted, you know. When you reach a foreign, you take it for granted. I remember um, when I used to visit family in the country, I used to see them whitewash. You have whitewash stone for Christmas, them whitewash their yard, and then put up the, the, um, the little, that little thing that weird oh my god i'm trying to describe it it's uh the corn yes the corn yeah i remember the pine the christmas pine or the christmas corn whatever you call that thing and whitewash it and then lay it out you know the the, the, the driveway leading up to the house the stone whitewash 
the cones whitewash and you can hear the Christmas song them and you can just feel the excitement in the ear and you know like I like those memories. I hold on to those memories of Christmas in Jamaica. It feel nice. Now you're not an adult. You don't feel no Christmas no more. Because you have to give it too much Christmas. And even Christmas affair never feel so. Christmas affair no feel like Christmas in Jamaica. And even years ago when I was here, Christmas felt nice. No, Christmas, we can't really smell Christmas. You know what? You almost know me at all, but you could have feel Christmas in the ear. You could have feel the difference. You could have feel the change. You can't feel it now. My blind and me, I feel it. Me can't feel it. Me shut my eye and I feel it. Me can't feel it. It's like the feeling is slowly moving from the earth. You know, it's just a distant memory. But anybody go back down a town. If you go down a town or if you go down a any town, down a any town with bustling, down a Maypen town, down a... You know, can't name some other town. You know, go down a... You know, send a video in here, please, so me can't get to see it. Mm-hmm. And drop on a memory pan Christmas. Yeah, group, judge, I'm not telling a lie. I watch a video star. Oh, the man, them are with the thing. Yeah, my first opinion when I see it. I tell her, say, yo, straight shot for your fire and them business people, if you get robbed, give people, but then mash up them style the money. You see me? Set the thing away where people make money off of criminality. You see me? If I saw them want the thing deal with, because that, them are push it for doing it. You see? But when I look back on the thing and burn a spliff and I met the thing, I say, no, you know what I say? Them man there, I take harder. You see me? All of them man there, I mash up the style poor, you know. Yeah, man, the rich people, you know, no society people, you know, I get to all the most of them come from. You see? And I get to some of them people that come from too. You see me? Yeah, so when I look on it, I say, yo, right now, at the big man, I respond to them. Security work me do, you know. Enough time I get some order, I say, yo, I fuck with this, you know. But what? Me need my paycheck, you know, I have to do it, you know. You hear that? Yeah, because guess what? Don't know the thing set, you know. Is it? See them bills off a pay and expense, see them way. But what? Man, them first start pre the Governor General. Protest up at the Governor General. Make him tell the Prime Minister. <clears throat> If the Governor General now appoint them as Prime Minister, them can't be Prime Minister, you know. So if the Prime Minister now do him job, you know, my G, you see me? You have to go link the bigger man, you know, and make him know, say, yo, at that time it is, you know. You see it? Road for fix, water for run. You see me? Yeah, but what? For body are pre, pre, one thing, is it? Now nah, look on the bigger picture. You see me? Feel and you can say yo state of emergency. Governor General have to do that, my G. <clears throat> you see me? Yeah, man. If you check the level of the thing, right now if you say yo, Governor General no want the attention, you know. Him no want the protest and the thing and him name a call up. You see me? Cause him for the night background stay so. Like a under boss. So when you draw him up in the thing, let the Governor General tell him, say yo. Watch this. At that time, it is, you know, just deal with the people, you know. See if I'm going to clown out the thing. Yo, the Prime Minister, they can't come tell you anything, you know, my G. Is it? Yeah, I know, say, yeah. But make the Governor General tell him to do something, and him not do it. He tell him to ramp with that. No joke. Yeah, man. John, no star. Nah, I blame the man, them, I do them work, you know. I blame the man who send them a G. Yeah, man. A one man, you know. Yeah, you can't blame the little poor man them for do them work, my G. I swear. You see me? Blame the man who send them. Because what? Security, me do, you know. Police, them know to, you know. Enough time I fuck you, but what? Job off it done. Is it? I'm simple much more while, you know. Because guess what? Right now, most of you them are deal with crime of a trade in you know, my general like. Yo, I said I go up on a program here. Yeah, a art. Yeah. It take like eight Saturday. That I hate the you know, but I hate week them say, you know. Cause Saturday it keep on. You see me? Yo, you can learn tiling, drywall, carpentry, and black laying. 
you know, they mix up sand and mall and lay black and flash it. You see me? And if you can use that, lay black and tile. It's easy for you to use cement and the tile thing there, you see me? And if them set up a program like that, you know, the garrison them, especially the poor community them, no for you to have three, four trees, you know, can lay tile and carpentry and drywall and lay black and tile. Yo, the youth them now nah, go bust no gun, the man them nah, go out there. You see me? Try and make better life. But when you stay so you know, on a tree, they don't they even have the education board, they don't have education if you are going to art and things. Yo, if you learn trade without education, then when you start making money, you go further education. You see me? So the thing for you are setting on, the man them just stay so. So you feel the youth them nah, do? Scam money, they do. Contract money, they do. Contract killing money, they do. How do you G man? Cause what? How you got, you know, when I look at me, you say, Yo, where you got school for? For get an education, for make money, though. So if you make money, you don't need an education, though. So I used to pray when I was young, you know. Yeah, I'm going to find out, say, Yo, education is the key. Is it? Yeah, man, street knowledge good, you know. Good for you to read and write, my G. Yeah. That's how the thing is. But what? When you broke, don't have a trade. You say you have to learn to read and write. Yo, you feel fuck up. Nah, I tell no lie, is it? Yeah, straight. Especially when you depend on a certain age. But you see, if you have four trade and you make money, yo, you feel proud going back to school. You see me? Cause what? You don't have to worry when you have any of class. Cause you know, say yo, trade you have, you know. In a week, you can make any amount of money, you see me? Yeah, man, right now, man, them feel free. Get all them program them. Can learn five skills. Get the youth, them can read and write. Yo, them did have a thing named Skill 2000 program. That the man, them for bring back Skill 2000 program. I swear, you hear that? No joke. Trade, well done crime. Trust me, because a man know him have him trade. Now nah, I go bust no gun, because I know a jail him go go. When him look and say, yo, one month, no much money me could have make. Yo, a man can have him trade and left that country. A man quick for send for a man come a foreign. Dry wall and tiling. Oh, you make you ask a man, go through art and the job training. Straight surf ticket, Canada that. Yo, opportunity for your open brother. You see me? Feel if them man they were mash up the style them, they'd have four trade. Carp carpentry, drywall and black lane. You feel them could and tell them for go mash up the people them thing. Man would have walk off of the job. And I swear, no joke. Yeah, if me did have them four trade, you feel me I do security work. Mad do what? John I bet you, yeah. <coughs> if you just get Link one of them man the way I mash up the stall and say, yo, how much man refuse a job ya? What uno come do? Or how much man say them na come? You see me? How all I want set a name in a cause I don't know when I set a name in a specialty I get in. Security work I do, you know. I don't want supervisor work, but I want to set my name and I know say my name set. You see me? And I see them thing, the man them good on do, you see me? She will say, yo, when rough work like that for deal with that, them man they for call strike force. Yeah, so them man they go get special treatment. Drive around in a van with the AC. You no know, say anything like that for deal with again at them man they jump out. And you see all the whole righteous and I say, yo, I fuck with that, yo. Hey, I can tell you this, them stand up in the sun till them. Blue. I swear. Yeah man, but what? Uh, that's the thing there, uh, we have to try and make a change. Look on the change we can make. Cause watch this. You know, say if a man pay them teacher the work of art, if you teach a youth them same way, you see me? Youth them have some trade and can go out there. A different Jamaica, you see, man. Them know that, you know. Them know how to do it. You see me? I know what you're talking about. I used to sell in a market with my mother. Me I taught myself from Cornish until my mother lived, um, graduated from seller food and start sell, got foreign curacao. Then she come back and she got Panama and then she got 
big foreign as Kanti. That's how we used to say she got a big foreign and we used to do run a back market. And when the man them ready for come round and take up a Miss Tila say if three or four vendors come together and rent a shop, it better off than the pan because where you are say. Even if them in a market, me see it happen even upon the sidewalk where them come and take up your things same way. It no matter where. The only time, even when you have the store, they still ask extra money. That is, that is the, no, when you talk about that, me have a problem with that. The government for find a way to get rid of the extortionists. But, as me I say, still, me not back them. My mother used to sell me, no, it go. Come off a road because every year they do the same thing. So you are telling me, say, even in your yard, I wish by you live. If somebody are now, you, every day you're going to make the person get dry out. Come on. You have, we, as, we as people have to think big. He's a business person. You can't expect the government to find market for you. Because if you add up the stall fee, where you have to pay every week, I see him thing if you add it up and pay extra print. Yo, I'm not like this still, you know. Them thing they are wickedness, you know. Them thing they are wickedness, man. Yo, trust me, man. I feel it to my heart for the people, them way. Boy, yo, them police, them, you know, with no apology, man. Them for dead, man. Them boy, they for dead, man. Them for dead. That's why enough time when police dead and, and them find them, you know, feel nowhere. Them boy, they them for dead. Them for dead. All right, what about as authorities and as police? Don't even tell the people them to pack up them things, them, then. You understand what I say? Uno start pack them up and put them in the sitting, them. You understand? And tell them, say, people, we don't want to mash up on the thing, them. Right? So, we have the authority and the power to can just mash it up like what them are doing. But here, we're not going to do that. We're going to just put them in the barrel, phone up, and we're help put them in the barrel and we're just go on. Look how all I wonder would be, hey, I'll him for dead all tonight. Him for going him go in bed and now wake up for tomorrow. Him not for see no Christmas, no New Year, nothing. Pussy go suck your mama. Me here to know. Lady, there is no right or wrong about anything. And the, the, the loudness of your voice is not necessary. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, me live in England. I'm born in Jamaica and I travel every year. Sometimes twice a year. So don't tell me about I live in Jamaica. You travel here, there, and everywhere. That's not my concern. My concern is how the man was chopping and mashing up the stuff that the people are selling. What? Why? Why is he being so aggressive? There is no wrong or right. As I said, this has been happening since I was a child. I know not new Jamaica. Jamaica big like England. You can't compare the two countries because this is a very, very, very big country with a lot of laws, people working and paying tax. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, I have enough people when I work and paying a tax neither. But I've seen people who come out with sell food that shouldn't be selling, selling perfume and all them something. They're even in the West End. How long did you travel here? So in Jamaica alone it happened. I never said that. I said it was it was right or wrong. Yes, the government is 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 um they got a market, independence market or whatsoever it call, and people pay them them fee for the market or everything. They're not answering the phone, so persons can get the the right paper to go through the right procedure to do whatsoever they're doing. So at the end of the day, I'm sure I'm not the only one in the group you're you commented on this issue. Him, him said discussion. He never said jumper. You know what I mean? So I'm not understand why the voice raised, you know. Good day, good day, good day. I'm just going to give my little input. Yes, I understand what you're saying. But try and remember, this is not a, 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 a everyday or all ear thing. It's just a once in a month once in the year thing it's just for december and it's it's not like at the beginning of december it's always like the second week in a december to like the first week in a january may not tell a lie but basically i just that is just it's just like you just give the people them a free run for a month what hard than that 
what hard in that is it, nothing it's not like a lifetime thing and an every day thing it's just a one month thing where people are going to hustle and everybody at work and can make two ends meet just like that so you are going to just do the little hustling for the for the christmas or, or, or whatever and then you are going to just come to boom and get a store for rent to do that no, come on, man. Have a conscience, mama, man. Have a conscience, mama. Understand what you are saying. Development of the country, but as we say, them give them a time to do that, so, that stuff. So that's why the government need to give them a time to know, say, all right, December, at them time of the year, they give the people them the freedom to do what they want, man. Come on, man. As I say, sis, you know, when you look on that, you know, it hurt my heart to see how the public servant where you pay, where your tax money pay, treat you like you know nobody. And at the same time, you're out there trying to make a house and a living. And, you know, the idiot them not understand if the government themselves, they provide better infrastructure where these people could go in the market and sell them things and provide better security for these people that's in the, in, in the marketplace. They would not be on the streets because the customer would find you anywhere there. So for the police are going and I deal with them the way them are dealing them, them things they're not right, you know. You know, destroy people things, you know, destroy people goods. Because when they turn to crime and them turn to other things to feed them family, and them see them on. See, and them see them on, push them down the road.